organization. No, it is. Um, I, I didn't know about this until the other day. Um, 2009, everyone was, we were all criti critical of, of the uh, COVID relief package of the $25 million dollars supposed to go to American citizens went to Pakistan for um, gender studies. <sighs> Since 2009, um, the U.S. government has committed over $5 billion in civilian assistance to Pakistan, over $1 billion in emergency humanitarian response aid. During Pakistan's 2019-2020 fiscal year, the United States gave the $25 million, uh, again, uh, based on um, gender studies programs that are and so forth in their school system. Uh, what I want to talk about is the rat children of Pakistan. Uh, the history behind these um, uh, deformed children, deformed on purpose for the sake of r religious reciprocity. Shah Dola was a Sufi saint of the subcontinent who lived during the era of the last Mughal emperor, Arun, Arunzeb, I know I'm butchering that. During his life, Shah Dalla took care of mentally disabled children who were abandoned by their parents. These children used to beg in order to earn their keep. These were mentally uh, disabled children naturally, okay? It is said that Shah Dalla could bless the childless couples with children who had uh, had the condition, but uh, who, who were disabled under one condition that the couple would donate their, literally, their firstborn to his service. Blinded by desperation, parents started giving their firstborn children to him. His shrine is in the current day Gujarat city of Pakistan. Even after his death, childless couples keep coming to his shrine, begging to bless him with children. The practice is still going and people still abandon their firstborn children at this shrine. The administration of the shrine then puts a heavy iron cap on the children over their skull to stop the growth of the skull and the brain. It's, it, it's, it's, it's uh, like intentional micro, micro, microphelgy, microalgae, microalgia uh, in the terminology for it. But they're, they're, they're disabling these children on purpose to fulfill a rite of religious like history that came from nature, that was natural and a slightly more healthy, albeit indentured servitude of children with mental disabilities. <laughs> the fact that that's better than what's happening now is crazy, especially in this modern era that we live in. But now they're disabling the children on purpose and we're giving them aid. They develop these, I mean, you see, they're reformed. These children are then sent to all parts of the country to beg. The beggar mafia even hires them on a monthly contract basis, and they're given back to the Shrine Administration after the contract expires. These children and grown-ups spend their lives begging. They don't have any family or life of their own, and due to the mental disabilities put upon them by adults, in some superstitious bullshit with a cage over their fucking head. That's disgusting. Um, they're, they can't, they can't do anything. They have to depend on other people. It's been going on for centuries. In the 1960s, the governments of Pakistan uh, took control and banned people from leaving their newborn babies at the shrine. Wow. The 1960s, but due to unstable political conditions, this is still ongoing. And the uh, tradition was given back to the administration or the mafia that abuses children for the sake of cash flow. No efforts were made to ban this practice. Uh, the whole thing is still working because common citizens never refuse to give money to the rats of Shah Dola. It is strongly believed that if you refuse them, your children will be handicapped. <laughs> so for the begging mafia, these poor souls are a guarantee of regular income. But if you give a child to them by will, by definition, you are handicapping a child. If you refuse to give money to the handicapping of children, it will stop <laughs> the children being handicapped. I would rather that happen than and run the risk of my child through hocus pocus being disabled 
knowing that the child that you're not refusing to give money to was disabled on purpose, that doesn't... I'm appalled that we give them money. Anyone like that. I don't fuck moral relativism. It's, it's absolutely disgusting. My, micro ethaly. This is, this is a rare neurological disorder that happens naturally. They are making it happen on purpose. Not some like superficial neck stretching. This is like, I mean, based because it's happening to children specifically and at such a rate in this one particular area, it's so common. It's, it's, I, I dare say it's worse than general mutilation. Um, although more than likely it happens to young people. Um, well, it does have, you know, the Abrahamic covenant, but I'm talking about like against someone's will or cutting off a clitoris for the sake of denying a woman pleasure. I, 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 it's, it's disgusting. I, I, I find it just, gr what, what do we need Pakistani oil field? No, what, what is it? What, what is the blind? It's so vile. We can instantly cut off aid and stop this from happening. Say so you end this practice or you get no more money, period. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck the Silk Road and you know, good. Go fuck yourself. This ends now. And they would police it, and it would happen. So, um, for those watching, it's four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning now. So, you know, it's not like I woke up at 10 a.m., 10 p.m., excuse me. I've been up, and um, so I'm for, sorry if I'm getting a little, you know, long in the, in, the uh, in my discursive rants, but um, in this regard, I think it's, I really do hope that you, if, you, if you're watching this, you. I don't know, donate money, uh, talk to your senator. I mean, it's fu this is fucking disgusting. I, I can't believe this is happening. It's absolutely vile. Um, maybe Joe Rogan talk about his podcast. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll at him on Twitter. It, 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 absolutely disgusting. I, 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 I'm gonna have a hard time editing this part and adding the pictures. I, I don't want to right now. Maybe I'll try to sleep for a few hours. It's just awful. It's so odd. Like the burn, the burn victims are talking about the um, the ban on guns. What happens in other countries where stabbings and uh, acid attacks have increased due to um, the, the uh, lack of uh, guns in the um, in the public sphere because of like import export um, austerity measures, in Australia and so forth. But like that was hard. Show. Oh man, it's.